You may be planning to create links between sections of your portfolio. This is actually a two-step process, but it's thankfully pretty simple to do, especially once you've made one or two of them. As a starting point, we'll go ahead and select some text that we want to be our link. We'll right-click on it and choose Create Link, which is the last option in the menu that appears. This is the first of two steps in here. Adobe has a clever workaround where it doesn't style the text, instead it puts an invisible box over top of the text. So when users are reading through your portfolio, they might think that they're clicking the text when in reality they're clicking the invisible box over top of it. Here are the settings that I recommend to make it look like an underlined traditional link. We'll leave the link type as visible rectangle, change the line style to underline, the highlight style to none, line thickness to medium, and I recommend changing the color to a blue color. If you're on a Mac like me, you can click the crayon icon and then select aqua. If you're on a PC, I would say use your best judgment about the blue that is relatively bold. So this is what we want the link to look like. What this will do is it will put an underline under my text that is blue. That'll indicate to my audience, as links traditionally do, that this is a link that they can click on. This is step one. Adobe will remember these settings. The next thing that I need to do is click next, and Adobe will prompt me to visit the page that I want this link to point to. Now, this is the part that can be a little confusing, especially if you're new to using something like this, but this just means that you are going to now navigate through the document to where you want the link to go. You can actually interact with the table of contents in this. So if I wanted it to go, let's say, to this page, I would scroll here and then click Set Link. However, you may notice that it says Create Go to View. And that means that instead of just linking to a page, what I can do is I can change the zoom and I can scroll partway down the page and then set my link here. That means that when someone clicks my link, not only will it take them to this page, but it will scroll down the page and change the zoom. When I click set link, it'll go back to my original link. And now you can see that it's styled with a blue underline. And when I click this, it took me to that page and it changed my zoom. 